Chatelaine edition of City Line. Oh my goodness, we are shoving so much information in the show today. Let's just get started right away. Leanne Alaire Perot is ushering in Spring. Give her a big round of applause. Hello. Hello, Spring. Now we can finally start to say it's getting a little bit warmer. It's time to bit. start with some DIY projects. You know, we are we're we're looking at Chatelaine. We're looking at this beautiful spring salad. So we're young. thinking everything is going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter. So why not get into some projects? Which I think you're amazing. You do all the stuff oh, at thank home you. I'm with sorry, your boys. What was that? You're <laughs> so cool. You're oh, so amazing. Thank you. You're like Ditto. super mom, and then you create these beautiful things. Well, you know, it doesn't take a lot of effort to really bring spring into your home, put yeah. a little spring in your step with your decor. And in fact, when you mentioned, you know, I'm a mom, you're a mom, I had the kids help me with a few of these projects as well. Your boys. Well, you know, I think um, they get a little, they were stir crazy over the winter, so they're happy to dig into anything. Right. So, you know, my work becomes their work. They're sure. very inexpensive labor, right? <laughs> you train it for a couple treats and you're good to go. Nothing wrong with that. No, for sure. Now, the one thing I loved with um, Chatelaine's edition is how they thought of flowers in an alternative way mm -hmm. so I wanted to recreate the look of this beautiful I think this could be a centerpiece on a front foyer um, oh, just yeah. about anywhere on a mantle you could do a scaled down version of this what I really love is that it's very organic yes. and I think we're so eager to get outside and we hear so often bringing the outside in there's really easy ways to do it one thing that I'm absolutely obsessed with is moss and you can get these beautiful bags of decorative moss. I picked this up from Michael's. Um, really nice collection, but just adding that touch of greenery, which is natural, yeah. in your decor. And it smells fresh. It actually smells kind of foresty, like the forest floor, because that's kind of where it comes from, right? And it's but good filler, too. It, it is. It fills out a piece. It makes it look bigger and Tucking just little depth. bits into decor anywhere. On mm -hmm. a mantle, I love just adding in some of that filler. And then what I've done, uh, the mason jar thing, I swear, I know we're going to look back in 10 years and be like mason jars were so 2014 <laughs> but they're still very popular and trendy and I just use those as my base for the flowers so really simple yeah um, stacking it all in this great um, cake plate or cake bowl um, that I picked up from Target now I was at the dollar store I just wanted to show this I was at the dollar store yesterday and found this little guy for a couple bucks mm -hmm. and I thought if you don't have a bowl like this simply taking a candle base and putting some permanent adhesive on the bottom of it with a plate makes a perfect little rustic, Smart. fresh look as well if you want to create this type of look on a dime. And then if you're really fancy like you are, you could actually spray that white oh, so that everything totally matches could. together. Love it. I actually, I personally kind of like the rustic so finish with the, with the ceramic top. Now, if you notice the flowers, we've tucked in um, some beautiful tulips uh, into the, the vases but, and some branches, but then mm -hmm. what I've also done is these little mum balls. Now, Claire's on the show today and she She's made rum balls before, but these are my mum balls. Forget the rum. These are, oh, these are Actually, decor delicious. The these are really cute. So these are super easy to do. Um, I've done these with floral balls and wet floral balls, so you can soak these in water so they'll stay fresh for a lot longer. Yeah. And then basically all you need is some small push pins, and you pick the color of your choice, and you just tuck them right onto the ball. So with this, you can just spritz them with water every couple of days, keeps them really nice and fresh. Cool. And it's great, again, just to tuck in your decor. It's just an alternate way of showing flowers within your space. And mums are so inexpensive. I got three bushels at the dollar store for $10. Really so good, did that's lots a great idea. Decor. Can we talk about the candy? We can definitely talk about it. I think I'm calling candy. it officially candy season. Uh, well, when isn't it candy season? I know. Uh, mini egg season. Now, this I thought was very sweet. Just again taking the mason jars but spray painting the lid which we've seen before but yeah. to add that spring twist at the dollar store in the toy section you can get these wee little itty bitty <laughs> plastic <laughs> animals and when you use a little bit of permanent adhesive this is the adhesive there it is that I used on top right um, it, you got your little chicken and of course the chicken with the egg so I filled it with them um, with the eggs for spring I want to know what inspired you to do that because it actually well, Chatelaine kind of, inspired me to do it. it looks a little insane but it looks really it good does. in real life like you but at you the know dollar what? store looking for these teeny tiny little animals. Well, here's, right? <laughs> here's the good. thing. Well, if you remember, I did dinosaurs at Christmas. So That's now right. it's the farm animals for spring. It looks now, so with good. this, um, all you need to do is remove the lid, and you can buy lids separately yeah. and put on an a, acorn for the winter, for the fall. You can dress oh, these up, right. have them on your kitchen counter, tea, sugar cubes, That's do anything so you want cute. in the kitchen. It's very sweet. And you would pay a lot of money for that sometimes but if not you me. bought it like this at a store. Not you. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Yep. Okay, much. so these are. Uh, 
uh, what you might find. Did you get these at the dollar Dollarama. store? Dollarama. These were package of four for two dollars. Yeah. And all I did this was I the set after. up. She's going to make them the look after. even prettier. This is where you can take, you know, not my taste. I made them into my taste. I made this little rig with foam core and some push pins. Yeah. Um, great if you're doing any egg decorating. So eggs aren't just for Easter. What I basically did is I just spray painted them um, a nice cream color. And then I washed them and I've got a little bit of paint here. I, I mixed some craft paint, brown craft paint with um, with water and I'll put it on one of the regular eggs here. I washed it mm -hmm. and you can just add as much or as little as you want. And then afterwards I just splattered some of the paint on and wrapped a little bit of raffia. And here yeah. I've shown an alternative, an alternative for a vase there. Just my little egg vase. That is so cute. There's Simple. so many things you could do. You could do a whole bunch of them and put them in a beautiful bowl just as well. Just bright colors. Yeah, yeah easy gorgeous. to store. Really nice. Great idea. And the boys, I'm sure they helped with the splatting of uh, the paint. That was their favorite part, of course. Oh, yeah.